Okay, we're back. We're going to write a story about a lion. So get your packet out and let's write a lion story today. And this lion is going to be friendly. He's a friendly lion. So our story is going to start with the boy's name. What would you like to name the boy? You decide. I will name my boy Bob. You can name the boy whatever you want. Bob went into his backyard and saw a lion. So now we need the word went. W E N T. Bob went into. Into is two words put together. In to. That's all one word. Bob went into his. You know how to spell his. That's a popcorn word. <clears throat> Backyard. This is a long word. It's a compound word. Two words put together. Back. B. A. It's both C and K. Yep. R A R D. Bob went into his backyard and you know how to spell and saw S. A W A Lion L I O N and we're going to put an exclamation mark. Bob went into his backyard and saw a lion. Now, what's going to happen? Well, it doesn't look like Bob's too afraid of the lion because he's petting it. So, when you know your cat is happy and likes you to pet it, do you ever hear it purring? Well, that's what's going to happen in our story. The lion walked up to Bob and was purring. Start with the, capital T. It's a new sentence. Are you putting space between your words? The lion, L-I-O-N, walked, walk. And then it's a weird word, A L. K, and it ends with E-D. The lion walked up, you know how to spell up, to, you know how to spell to, and whatever your boy's name is, my boy's name is Bob, The lion walked up to Bob and, you know how to spell and, remember if I go too fast, put me on pause. The lion walked up to Bob and was W-A-S. That's a popcorn word. Purring. I'll spell purring for you. P U R R. That's how you spell purr. And now you need ing. I N G. P 
period. Let's read what we have. Bob went into his backyard and saw a lion. The lion walked up to Bob and was purring. Now you're going to finish the story. What did the boy decide to do with the lion? Hmm. Did the boy decide to keep the lion and take him into his house and hide him from his parents? Did the boy decide that the lion was lost and had to take him back to the zoo? Did the boy lay down under a tree and take a nap with the lion? I don't know. Maybe the boy fed the lion pizza. No, don't write that. That's a crazy answer, Mrs. Kessler. You decide what the boy decided to do with the lion. Okay? When you finish your story, I can't wait to see it because on Saturday when I come, I'm going to pick up this packet and I'll get to read your story. Remember, if you need more room to write, there's another page for you to keep writing. Don't forget to use periods and capital letters. Okay, guys, I will see you at 2 o'clock live for Directed Drawing. Bye-bye!